hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create a search box that you can see on my computer screen here in this search box you can see a search icon at the left side after this search icon you can see this text area where you can type anything then you can see this search button on the right side we will create this search box design using html and css only but before starting this video i would like to thanks bluehost for sponsoring this video bluehost is very good website to buy domain name and web hosting if you will buy a web hosting from bluehost you will get the free ssl certificate free seo tool and free cdn when you will buy web hosting for one year you will get the free domain name also in any of the web hosting plan you get the ssd storage which is very fast and you get the unmetered bandwidth it means there will be no issue with the traffic you can drive n number of traffic on your website and your website will be always up and running here you get the free ssl protection i will put the bluehost link in the video description so that you can come on this website in one click and start building your website if you don't know how to build your website with bluehost i have dedicated video on this one where you can learn how to build and publish your website in just few minutes you can find that video link also in the description now let's start this video here in this folder i have created one index.html file and one style.css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the HTML file where I have added basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding, font family and box sizing. These CSS properties will be applicable for all the HTML elements. In this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file because we have added href style.css, the file name of the CSS file. Now we will add codes in the body tag that will be displayed on our web page. So here. We will create a div with the class name container and in this container we will create a form in this form we have to add one input box for that we will use input tag input type will be text and here we will add the placeholder that will be a message displayed inside the search box what you are looking for and after this input box there will be a search button so we will add button button type will be submit and here we will add the button text it is search after adding all these contents in the HTML file let me open this web page for that open this HTML file with any web browser now you can see this search box and this search button at the top left corner. Let me close this browser and I will open this web page through the visual code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. You can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Let me come back to the code file and here we will copy this class name container, add it here in this CSS file. Next we have to add the CSS for this container. So here we will add the width and after that we will add height. Next we will add the background. So in this background we will add a color code. This is the dark color and after that we will add display, align items and justify content center. After adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see this search box and this search button in the center of the web page and the entire web page is black let's come back and here we have added form tag so let's add this form tag here in this css file and for this form we will add background so the background will be white triple f then we will add the width 600 pixel and height then we will add display flex now you can see we have horizontal bar with white color and here we have the input box and search button next we have to design this input box and search button so let's come back and here we will add form and within this form we have created input field with the input tag so here we will add input we will add flex one so it will use the entire space available in the 
row next we will add border border will be none and outline none after adding this again we will add form tag and in this form we have added button using button tag so we will add button and for this button we will add background so the background is this one tomato then we will add some space inside the button so we will add padding after that we will add border none and outline none here we will change the text color of this button it will be white letter spacing one pixel and then we will add cursor pointer after adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see we have the large search box where we can type any text and in the right side we have this search button next we have to add one search icon in the left side to add any icon on the website we will go to fontawesome.com open this website fontawesome.com you have to create an account here that will be free then click on kits and click here then you will get this one line of a script just copy this script and come back to the HTML file add it here just above this closing head tag add this script now we can add the icon on our web page so let's come back to the font awesome website again click on icons here we will select version 5 and here we will search the keyword search because we need a search icon let's click on the first one and click here to copy this one line of code add it here in this form where you want to display the icon we have added it here after that let me refresh the website again now you can see this icon at the top left corner of this form next we have to align it and we will change the color also and we need some spacing for that let's come back and here you can see we have the class name fa search copy this class name write it here with the form form dot fa search in this one we will add align self center so it will be vertically centered after that we will add some space so padding 10 pixel and 20 pixel then we will add the color that's it after adding this again refresh the website and now you can see this search bar looks good this search icon position is perfect and the size is also perfect here we can type any text and we can click on this search button so we have created this search bar using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video